Hi, my name is Raga Ragnars and I'm an actress. This is my country, Iceland. Being from Iceland and being on a show like Vikings was an amazing experience because it's very rooted in my culture. Um, my father's name is Ragnar and Ragnar is one of the main characters of the show. I am Ragnar Stochter, that's my last name, and uh, people wouldn't even believe me when I said that. They thought that it was because of the show, <laughs> but it's just my name. Uh, here in Iceland, we have such a strong Viking culture, and I feel my ancestors with me when I portray Gunnhild. <laughs> and I think it's an amazing opportunity to have been a part of that show and to be able to show the world um, what we have to offer as, as the Viking culture, as the Viking heritage has allowed us to, um, to morph into, in a way. Uh, here in Iceland, we have some, uh, some very old Viking ruins, and this is a set that we are on here in Iceland. And it, it looks like a, a, a tiny little Viking village um, but we do have some places here in Iceland that are very um, historical and very um, important to us. Uh, and all the sagas that we read here in Iceland in school, we learn all about the Vikings, about our, uh, about our ancestors, and to be a part of the show that captures it so well um, was an amazing privilege. I started swimming when I was about six years old and I became quite good at it early on. I was about 11 or 12 and I started swimming with the junior national team here in Iceland and I decided very young that I wanted to go to the Olympics and that was the plan. I wanted to go to the Olympics and then go to the Oscars. <laughs> and I've been to the Olympics twice now and still haven't been to the Oscars yet, but that will come, <laughs> that'll be fun. Uh, I swam in Iceland, I swam in the States, in Denmark, in South Africa, in Germany. I trained all over the world and I learned so many things on the way uh, that has helped me in life, not just in swimming, but in life, in acting, as a mom, and in everything that I do. There is so much discipline needed to to make it in the sports world, and especially a sport like swimming, which is very lonely. Um, you're in the water, underwater, for hours a day, and you have nothing but your thoughts, so they better be good. <laughs> Otherwise, you can't do it for too long. And um, yeah, I think uh, swimming has, has given me so much discipline, so much, it's just has taught me so much through the years and I still swim. I still love getting in the water, clearing my head and just swimming, laps, swimming, keeping in shape. And um, I enjoy water, <laughs> waterfalls, the ocean, swimming pools, hot pools. Um, you know, I go and I go hot spring hunting in Iceland all the time. And I, I love going into uh, to any body of water really. When it's really cold, I'm not a big fan of it, but <laughs> I do it and I love it. I always feel better afterwards. So swimming is one of the things that I love to do. When did I start meditating? Uh, I started meditating when I was very young. I think I was about 13 years old when I read about it for the first time and I read books about meditation, I read books about nutrition, I read books about everything that I could that would help me with my swimming career. And I always knew that I wanted to be an actress and it has helped me both as a swimmer, as a mom, and as an actress and in everything I do. Uh, sometimes I go days without meditating and then a day will come by when I realize that it's been a while since I meditated and I, <laughs> and I uh, meditate and I just feel so much better and so much more grounded and so much more ready for the day and for everything that I have to do. Woo! <laughs>
This is Iceland. Welcome. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so that's what meditating is for me. I try to do it as much as I can, even when I'm on set and I have a couple hours, or if I have to wait for anything. Um, when I was swimming, I used to do it on the bus, on the train, or, or uh, at the pool, on the pool deck, um, before a workout, before, um, before a race. And now I do it before I shoot a scene or before, you know, doing anything in life. I'll, even if it's just five minutes, I'll get five minutes and I'll sit down somewhere and I will meditate for a little bit. I love it. <laughs> Especially here in Iceland with nature around, being able to ground, put my hands and my bare feet on the ground and walk around or just connect with the earth and ground myself. And it really, really helps. It helps the mind, it helps the body and it helps me focus. And Iceland has so many places to marvel at the views or just sit down and connect. <laughs>